BC30S contains a touchscreen with user-friendly software. The power status indicator shows the status of the analyzer. The users can load sample through the sample probe after pressing the aspirate key. You can switch on BC30S from the rear. The waste sensor can monitor the liquid level and alarm the user before waste is full. BC30S has four USB ports which are able to connect different accessories such as Wi-Fi adapter, printer, keyboard, mouse, barcode reader, and etc. Also, there is one LAN port supporting bi-directional LIS as well. The CFL lice is located inside the left door. What's more, sample results can be printed out automatically by the built-in thermal printer. Please use clean EDTAK2 or EDTAK3 anticoagulant collection tubes to collect venous blood samples and be sure to collect at least 120 microliters of blood every time. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender, and etc. while whole blood is the default setting. Mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear a beep sound. Please use clean centrifugal tubes to collect capillary blood samples and be sure to collect at least 120 microliters of capillary blood every time. After mixing the capillary sample, be sure to wait for at least 5 minutes before analysis and you must complete the analysis within 2 hours after sample collection. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender and etc. while whole blood is the default setting. Tap the bottom of the tube at least 8 times to mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. To prevent blood blockage, please don't push the tube too close to the bottom of the probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear a beep sound. Click the dilute dispension icon, then present a clean tube to the sample probe. Press the aspirate key to dispense 700 microliters diluent. To continue with diluent dispensing, repeat these steps. Click Cancel after preparing all the diluents. Add 20 microliters of capillary blood or venous blood to the diluent. Close the tube cap and mix it properly. After mixing the capillary sample with the diluent, be sure to wait 3 minutes and remix it before running the pre-diluted sample within 30 minutes after the mixing. You may enter the sample information including sample ID, name, age, gender, and etc. And click Mode. Change it to be pre-dilute mode accordingly. Mix the pre-diluted sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear a beep sound. After the analyzer stays idle for a certain amount of time, which is 15 minutes by default, a dialog box will pop up, prompting Entering Standby Status. You may exit the Standby Status by pressing the Aspirate key or tapping on the screen. You can review the sample results by table after tapping Table Review or in graphs by tapping Graph Review. For the unwanted sample results, select and tap Delete. Every sample result is editable. Click the desired sample result and then click the Edit Result button. Modify the results and tap OK to save the changes. Select sample records to be printed and then tap print to print out.
You can also select Auto Print in Setup menu to print out report automatically. If you would like to further analyze some sample results, tap Export after inserting a flash disk. If the parameter is marked by an H or L, it means the analysis results exceeds either the upper or lower limit of the reference range. If the parameter is marked by an R, it means the analysis result is questionable. If you see five asterisks, as opposed to the result, it means the result is invalid. Two kinds of flag information can be provided in the form of detailed flag message and traditional markings on histograms. Flag message can be hidden or shown by tapping the arrow button. BC30S can provide different flag messages based on various clinical cases. For example, lymph increased means a high number of lymphocytes and or immature cells. Meanwhile, R2, R3, RM flags are also displayed. Two kinds of flag messages are both supported to ensure clinicians have better understanding of sample results. The RBC distribution abnormal and urethrocytosis flag represent either signs of abnormal RBC present or sample has a high number of RBC. The thrombopenia stands for the low PLT count and PLT distribution abnormal means possible presence of microcytosis, RBC debris, large platelet and platelet coagulation. BC3D is the QC for BC30S. Its shelf life is three months, but you have to use it in 14 days after it's open. After importing the QC file, BC30S can load the target value, lot number, expiration date, and level of QC automatically. You can download the QC file from MindRay website or get it from your local MindRay representative. Run the QC through the sample probe in QC mode after mixing well. You may review the QC results in the LJQC graph to see if they are within range. SC Cal Plus is the calibrator of BC30S. Its shelf life is one month but you have to use it in seven days after it's opened. We recommend you run the calibration by the calibrator. You need to input the target value of the calibrator first. Then mix the calibrator tube well and run it through the sample probe. After running the calibrator 5 to 10 times, you may get the new calibration factor. You are able to save it when the CV% percent value is within the reproducibility range. You can see the residual volume of reagents on the software screen. BC30S will show an alarm when the reagent has run out. You may enter reagent information manually or enter the barcode by scanning. If the barcode is valid, the corresponding reagent information will automatically display. Tap Apply to save the expiration date and start to replace the reagent. Click the shutdown button and select OK. When the dialog box for prompting probe cleanser maintenance is displayed, present probe cleanser to the sample probe, then press the aspirate key. The probe will aspirate the probe cleanser, then BC30S will clean the whole system automatically. After shutdown finishes, the message, please turn off the power of the analyzer will be displayed. Press the power switch on the back of the instrument to power off. If you would like to keep BC30S turned on constantly every day, 
you need to set up the time-based daily maintenance. BC30S will prompt a reminder for a probe cleanser maintenance when needed. It has the same effect as shutdown maintenance.